Hello and welcome to this video. So you have learned your first programming language. Congratulations. And now you are wondering what's the next step? Where do I go from here? I will tell you today. My name is Florian and I'm a computer science professor. So you have learned your first programming language. It's an exciting journey. You have learned how to solve problems with writing code and that's great. And now you're wondering what's the next step? Where do I go from here? How do I become a software engineer or a better programmer? I have four suggestions for you. The first one is learn the next programming language. This might sound odd because you just learned one, right? But learning a different programming language will give you an even better insight on the concepts of programming languages, of the basic concepts of computer science. And you will see the contrast between the two programming languages. And this will help you understand some of the concepts better or in a different way. So this is my first suggestion. Learn another programming language as well. If you don't want to do that, and if you're fine with the programming language you just learned, the other thing would be dive into the best practices of programming. Understand how you can be a better programmer. What do senior engineers, senior programmers make different than you right now? And there are two great books to do that. The first one is The Pragmatic Programmer where a lot of concepts, best practices and so on are described on what you can do on top of programming to be a better programmer. The second book is Clean Code, which also has a lot of resources on how to write good code and how good programmers work. The third suggestion is learn more about the topics of algorithm and data structures. Regardless of what problems you solve, regardless of what you implement, it will all boil down to algorithms and data structure and whether or not you are understanding those concepts. Understanding those concepts will make your life so much easier. It will help you write better structured code. It will help you write more efficient code and it just will help you write better quality code and solve your problems in a better way. And the book I recommend here is Introduction to Algorithms by Corman. It's the standard book on the topic and it's rightfully so. It's written in a good way. That being said, it's not an easy topic. So you might need to add some YouTube videos here and there to really understand the concepts that are written about in the book, but it will definitely be worthwhile learning that, especially if you want to do a coding interview at one of the big companies like Google or Facebook, because there you have to have this algorithm and data structure understand. And finally, the fourth one, learn more about how software shall be made about the processes, the methods that are behind software engineering that allow you to write software in a predictable way with a predictable quality and how you can structure software in a good way, how you can test software in a good way. And for that, I recommend the book Software Engineering by Ian Somerville. That's one of the standard books on software engineering and gives you a very nice overview about the topics. And then from there, you can dive into the individual topics. So I hope you have enjoyed this list of topics, this next step after you have learned your first programming language. Let me know in the comments below what you think. What is the right step for you? Is there maybe something I have missed? And of course, if you found this video helpful, then please smash the like button. And if you're interested in videos like this, growing as a programmer, growing as a software engineer, then please subscribe to my channel so that I can see you in the next video.